Damn. I wonder who I should do next. Because, like, starting off Aston Villa like that was really good because we had the, you know, the signings of Torres and Tielemans and Diaby. And it's a really good starting point. You know, they've had a really good transfer window, so it was really easy for me to start with it. Oh, damn it. Well, so I've just done all five seasons of this free build of Aston Villa. Uh, you know, done five transfer windows. Just before bed last night, I was like, watch, you know, I'll, I'll simulate the fifth season, wake up, and we can record it. It's, it's you know, it's 9.30 in the morning now. 5.30 in the morning, they confirm that sign. That's, this feels personal. I genuinely think this is a personal attack. We're doing it anyway. Just ignore the lack of Nicolo Zaniolo. All right? Clearly, I will have thought about, you know, the spot that he may fill. We'll see anyway. Let's just... Far out. Aston Villa looked fantastic for the end of last season under Unai Emery. And look, I think he's done just a sensational job. And, and we're going to be keeping him around. And they've also done some fantastic business. The business of Pau Torres, of Musa Diaby, of Yuri Tielemans. Fantastic business. They're looking good to compete yet again for 6th, 7th, that sort of area, I think. This is how I would see the squad planning out as it stands. Here we are. Um, look, definitely stuff that needs work, I think, um, because it's, like, there's, there's enough people here, as it stands, to cover all the positions. I've done all the transfers up to a certain point this morning. Um, this is how I see it shaping up. I mean, I know the formation, this was used a lot. I think Cameron Archer did have a very good, um, second half of the season, I think it was at Middlesbrough maybe last season, um, so I think he is like a decent bet for there, but you know, maybe we could do better than that, um, and then you know, Bertrand Traore maybe is the other position that we try to fill. Um, the goal of it and at the end of the day is we, we want to compete, we want to get Aston Villa to finals, to you know, top four, that sort of thing. We've got five seasons to do it, we've got to try and get them up there and you know, turn over this squad in certain uh, pieces, I guess. Um, like, I don't know, uh, Coutinho should probably go, really, at some some stage in the near future. Um, people like Tyra Mings, Courtney Horse, like, I don't... Like, I I think Mings is much improved, I think. Um, but, obviously, there's some turnover that needs to happen. Right back, I think, is an issue as well. Like, only having Matty Cash and then Callum Chambers isn't great. Um, goalkeeping, that's fine. That's, like, having Amy Martinez is a godsend. Um, midfield, pretty good. Um, John McGinn probably doesn't actually play this holding role um, like in real life, but that's fine. I don't really care. Um, that's where we'll play for... Well, I don't... I have control of that. This is just the tactic I've set up for um, Unai Emery, and we'll um, let him do whatever he wants, really. Uh, it's his team. I'll just make the transfers. Anyway, this is how I see it shaping up at the moment. Sorry if I just made a loud noise, um, bumping a cable. Um, this is how I see it shaping up. As I said, I think what we need to look at is pending any outgoings, I guess, in the you know next couple of months um, of the transfer window. Um, right back, right wing, maybe striker, maybe left wing. I don't know. You know, that sort of area is... Other than that, it is a pretty full squad. Um, maybe we do ride out the first season and see what happens and, and you know, look to go from there. Let's see. Let's head to the uh, the transfers at the end of the first transfer window. As I said, probably not too much to uh, to really get through. The squad looks pretty full. We just need to ride through this year and, and see how we get on. Have made a signing though, and as I said, Callum Chambers doesn't really cut it for me as a right back. I think he's better as a centre back option. So we have brought someone in. That person is Wilfred Singo. Um, I think that's a great signing because it is like. Like, uh, obviously quality. Um, he does have, you know, good potential young player. But at a good age, like, it's not as if he is 18, 19 and he needs, you know, a couple of loans before he can come into the first team. He's ready for the first team for the next five years, if you know what I mean. Like, I think it's some pretty good business. That's the only deal we have done. Brought him in only for £22 million. Pounds, um, leaving the team looking like this. Um, the only other business, um, I guess, Robin Olsen left. Um, and we brought in Jed Steer as backup again striker probably a, a bit of an issue right wing probably a bit of an issue but you know business that i guess we'll probably look into doing next year and you know we do have good 
depth in having like Diaby and Bailey able to play. Um, we'll just see how they go, I guess. Um, don't have much expectation for this season. I mean, hopefully, again, hopefully like, yeah, seven, eight, six, you know, that sort of region in, in the table. And if we can compete in whatever trophies we're in. Um, so I don't think we got Europe. No, we don't have Europe. So we'll see how we get on, I guess. All right, end of season number one. Bit of a, I mean, I tried to get through that one pretty quick because it was pretty uneventful. And um, when we look at the uh, competitions, probably about about that. Here we are. So at eighth in the league, we finished eighth in the league. Quarterfinal of the FA Cup is pretty good. Um, Carabao Cup third round, which is sort of just gross that we got drawn against Manchester City in the third round of the Carabao Cup. Um, as for the league position, we started out the season horribly somehow. It was 17th after a couple of match days, 14th, and um, towards the middle of the season, 9th, 7th, uh, as high as 5th at one stage, and we've yeah, sort of plateaued it down at 8th, and in the end of it, pretty comfortably 8th. We were 5 point clear, points clear of Leicester, um, while being 8 behind Newcastle. As for how the squad has performed, lots of people on holiday, lots of people, blah, blah, doesn't matter. Um, most appearances, Pau Torres, Yuri Tielemans, Musa Diaby, so some good signings, clearly. Um, no appearances for Courtney Hawes. He's, he's going to go, isn't he? Um, what are we doing? So, Courtney Hawes, uh, that's a backup goalkeeper. That's fine. Don't love that. Do not like that at all. Jacob Ramsey's only played 10 games, 9 of them being off the bat. Tyrone Mings has only played 15 games. Yeah, see, Cameron Archer only got us two goals across the season. 21 goals for Leon Bailey is incredible. That is a great season for Leon Bailey. 14 for Ollie Watkins. 13 for Bertrand Triori. He was one of the ones, of course, we spoke about getting rid of, so it's pretty sensational to get that out of him. Musa Diaby in his first season here gets 7 goals, 10 assists. Pretty sensational. Uh, topping our assist charts with those 10 assists as well. Best average rating, Leon Bailey, Musa Diaby. That's, you know, to be expected, I suppose. Um, anyone disappointing? Um... It's weird to see Diego Carlos this low. I mean, he's only 31, um, and he did play 39 times this season. So, um, look, for, uh, for a first season, it's fine, I think. Um, you know, first season, there's not going to be a whole lot of change. It's not going to be, you know, we've done our job after one season. It's We're not Chelsea. We're not going to be able to spend £800 million and, and, you know, completely change over a squad within one transfer window. You know, it's like... It's un unrealistic. It's not unrealistic now, is it? Because Chelsea, you've done it. All right, well, um, uh, let's look at next season, I guess. Um, again, probably look at, um, you know, changing over people like Bertrand Traore, uh, like Callum Chambers. Um, if we look at, at the squad here, um, like, because where we'll go from here is, is the transfers, basically. So, um, don't know who Kerr Smith is. He can go. Calm James, get out of there too. Um, and Courtney Horse, who's doing this? There we go. Um, and now this, whatever, ignore it. I don't know why this is happening. Let's ignore it. Um, look, yeah, work that could be done. Um, I think, yeah, people people like Bertrand Chiori are on borrowed time. Um, Tyrone Mings might be going. Um, I don't know. We'll see um, how it should change. I'll probably bring in another striker because. You know, Ollie Watkins um, being the main man, like literally the main man. Like it's him and then Cameron Archer who only played, I mean, 21 times, 12 of them being off the bench, scored us two goals across the season. We need uh, we need something else up front. I'm not sure why it's a deep lying forward. I would not have set Ollie Watkins as a deep lying forward, so I'm assuming this is somewhat what Unai Emery's played. If we finish eighth again. Um, I think Unai Emery will go. Having said that, though, we have qualified for the Conference League, so hopefully we give, get a good showing in the Conference League next season. Anyway, let's go th forward to the transfers for Season 2 so we can really start to shape up this team and, and have, you know, have our influence on how great we can make this side within five seasons. All right, so we've done a bit more business than I possibly expected to do, and um, the team's really starting to look different. I guess the main changes and the changes that perhaps you wouldn't have expected to, to happen this quickly or... I don't know, at all, I don't know. For one, uh, Philippe Coutinho has gone to Saudi Arabia. Um, of course, I, like, I've done a lot of the transfers, so they, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia do have a lot of their players, like, you know, Ronaldo, Benzema, um, 
Neves, all of the above, whatever. Um, they came in with a 30, what was it? 34 million pound offer for Felipe Coutinho. They're only paying him 115k a week. I don't, uh, surely if he's going to the, to Saudi Arabia, he's getting paid more than that. I don't really understand that, but of course as Aston Villa, I'm not saying no to that. Why the hell would I say no to that? He's gone, bugger off. The next bit of business is one that I guess maybe you didn't expect and I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting either and just when the offer came in, I had to basically. It is Ollie Watkins. He's gone up to West Ham United, 28 years old. He's only scored his, what was it, 12 goals last season, I think. Um, so it wasn't fantastic. Perhaps we played him in a not great role, I guess, maybe is the, the issue there. Um, and maybe we need to look at fixing that, but he's gone to West Ham for 30 million pounds. Um, so I, it's, it is what it is, I guess. He's gone, but we've been able to replace him. So it's end of the day, it's fine. Less important, uh, Callum Chambers is gone, 29 years old, didn't rate him, didn't want him. Uh, he's gone to Olympiacos of all places. Um, it says there he's worth uh, up to 12 million. We sold him for much less than that. 5.25 million. I was pretty keen on just getting rid of him, I think. Um, that's the story there. On to the incomings then, and this is where the squad really does start to take shape and start to mould into a new version of Aston Villa. Starting off with Wilfred Nyonto, um, absolute football manager heritage. Well, you know, maybe losing a bit of that in real life now with his antics at Leeds. Um, maybe turning into a Saido Berahino 2.0, I don't know. Um, but in Football Manager, he's got five star potential, and with Leeds getting relegated, we were able to get him for £25 million. Pounds. Um, something that, you know, maybe Leeds should just think about cutting ties with and taking the profit. Don't know. Um, <laughs> so we, we took him on, um, happy with that, M more than happy. Um, it, it was, you know, not. 25 million is a good deal for Wilfred Nyonto at 20 years old. Absolute wonder kid, tiny, tiny man. Um, great acceleration, great pace, great attacking player. Versatile is important to me as well because, you know, we might not necessarily... Like, I don't know whether we'll need to play him as the, the out-and-out -out striker, whether we'll need him to play him behind the striker. I don't know. Uh, Unai Emery's in control, but we've got a good player, again, for a number of years that's already at a good standard um, that Unai Emery can... I don't know, do whatever he wants with, really. So he's in charge, not me. Before we go into the other players that have come in, it's important to look at a couple of players. One being Bertrand Traore on your screen now. Um, he's gone on a free transfer. It's the end of his contract. He's wanted by some clubs. A club, it's Betsy. So you can see that really we were probably right in letting him go. Um, the other player that has gone on a free end of his contract is Tyrone Mings. Okay, this one feels like a mistake. Like maybe I shouldn't have let him go for free. Especially now that he's gone to Fulham in the same division. He was also our captain. So we'll have to replace that. Um, and that's fine. It Look, maybe I made a mistake. Alright, you tell me. You let me know. Coming in though, to replace Tyrone Mings is... Alright, I've gone into it again. Just wonder kids, really. Um, some players in Football Manager that I know are going to be great. And then... You know, this season in the next couple of seasons are going to be great. It's Andre Amaru. He comes from some club named VTSC. I don't know what it means. What is that club? What's the what's the name of your club? What is the name of your club? Who are you? Vitoria? I think that says Vitoria. Yeah, I'm, that sounds like a Portuguese club. Anyway, we bought him in. Um, we paid a, a good amount of money, thirty million pounds for him. Um, some other teams wanted him. Um, PSG came in for him. Um. I think it was Arsenal came in for him as well. He chose us probably for the game time, I guess, or guaranteed game time. He is an absolute gem on, um, <laughs> on Football Manager. If you can manage to prime for whatever club you're at, he's an absolute gem. He's 21 years old. Um, he turns out to be absolutely sensational. You can see by his mental attributes, he's bloody brilliant, especially for a 21-year-old centre-back to be this good mentally already. By, you know, his prime years as a centre-back at 27, 28, 29, whatever. He's going to be absolutely brilliant. I'm absolutely chuffed to be able to bring him in. Um, next player that we've brought in, uh, it's another striking option. So we've got gotten rid of Oli Watkins. We've still got Cameron Archer. He's still around the club. Hasn't left on loan. Hasn't left or anything like that. So we've got uh, Cameron Archer. We've got Wilfred Nyonto. But this is our main man. <laughs> it's Gianluca Scamacca. I know we've just done West Ham. And, you know, uh, a big part of that was that we've sold... Uh, Gian Lucas Scamacca to uh, Atalanta to be able to, you know, fund what we've then gone on to do with West Ham, which was, going back and thinking about it, not much. 
I don't care though. He's absolutely sensational in football manager. Why would I not bring him in? We only have to pay about 30 million pounds from him for him from uh, where'd he go? Atalanta. Um, and uh, to I don't know. Wait, hang on. It says West Ham. I'm very confused. We bought him in though. 30 million pounds we paid for him. I think uh, 39 million pounds we paid for him. Why was he at West Ham? All right, maybe I didn't do his transfer. Whatever. We've swapped him for Ollie Watkins, basically, apparently. Confused. I'm confused, all right. It's, again, it's early in the morning. I usually do these at night. It's early in the morning. I'm, he's a perfectionist. He's tall. He's uh, relatively quick for a striker that tall. Good jumping reach. Good strength. Good long shots, heading, finishing. He's going to score a ton of goals in football manager, isn't he? Um, maybe we don't play him as a deep line forward, and maybe that had something to do with us not being good last season and misusing the strikers we do have. We've got John Lucas Gwacker. He's going to be a gun. Like, he's 25. He's going to have... Like, we've got four seasons left. That takes him up to 29. We're getting in for his prime. That rhymed, sort of. Anyway, last bit of business. Um, So this one is um, in lieu of, um, I guess... Uh, Bertrand Traore leaving the club. We needed some winger backup, some, some attacking midfield area backup. And I guess this one frees up Musa Diaby to be able to play on the right if we want to. Um, because this guy's better on the left-hand side. His name is Alex Baena. He's coming from Villarreal, I believe. Yeah, Villarreal um, paid £34 million for him. Um, he, at that point, was wanting to leave the club. So he was, you know, over it. Had enough of wearing yellow, I guess. Um, and uh, he's come to us. Looking at him, I'm a little bit... Eh. Maybe we overpaid for him. I, like, looking at him, I don't think he's actually as, as good as I thought he was, maybe. He is 23, though. He does have years to grow and, and to, to grow with the team. And Maybe he was a panic buy. Maybe it's not that good. Let me know what you reckon. Have you had Alex Bayner in your, uh, in your season? Has he been brilliant? Hopefully he is for us. Let's have a look, then, at how our squad lines up. Um, who is who in the zoo, and... Uh, then we skip to the end of the season. So this is what the squad is shaping up to look like. And I guess it is good that, um, you know, someone like Nyonto is uh, versatile and can play on the left-hand side. Because we only really have the one left-sided attacker. Um, Buendia can play out there too. Of course, Tiabi and Bailey can probably play out there too. But Bayern is the only, you know, out-and-out left-sided player, I guess. Um, I have changed around the tactics uh, slightly, I guess. Like, I've got inside forwards instead of wingers. The midfielders aren't uh, defensive midfielders. They're central midfielders but with defensive duties anyway um and then an advanced forward because i think that's kind of an overpowered role in football manager anyway um that's what we're gonna go with um we'll basically see how it gets on and um, we're playing a vertical tiki taka unai Emery's at the wheel we'll see how we get on let's go to the end of season number two hope to you know compete um this season with the transfers we've made i'm hoping for you know fifth sixth um you know pushing up the table we're in the conference league i think it was Conference League or was it Europa League? I don't remember. Hopefully we compete well in that, make it to the latter stages. That would be sensational. Um, and cup, other cup competitions. It really gives a hoot. End of season, number two. Some fantastic transfers we've made. And it's shown. Um, we've had a fantastic season for what we, I guess, expected or where we were last season. We've only done a few little deals. I mean, four transfers. It's a lot of money. We spent a lot of money, really. Um, little deals is probably not true, but... Um, Four big transfers, and it's really shown. If you look now at the competitions, we've qualified for the uh, Champions League, finishing fifth, only one point behind Arsenal in fourth, three points ahead of West Ham, ahead of Chelsea, ahead of Leicester, Tottenham down in tenth. Probably not being coached by Andrew Struggle anymore. Nope. Um, Harry Kane's still there, of course, because it took me a while to do this, and I started this before that transfer was confirmed. Anyway, um, runners up in the Conference League. Um, we lost to Werder Bremen on the last... I'm not going to click into it because I can't be bothered um, trying to load all of that. Um, Semi-final of the FA Cup, losing against Liverpool, who went on to win it, I would presume. Oh, it was against Manchester City and only an extra time. Um, so, also, Skamaka, you can see already, 23 goals between Premier League and FA Cup. Carabao Cup, fourth round by Bolton is shocking, but well, that's fine. Looking at the league... Um, if we look at the stages, um, last year we finished 8th on 64 points. This year, 66 points, and we finished 5th. So, I mean, we have improved. The other teams around us have also just not done as well as they did last year, I guess. 
I didn't see Brent could go down. It's unexpected, I guess. Um, yeah, how did we go? Um, where are we looking? Where are we looking? 53 goals for Gianluca Scamacca. That is a hell of a season. That is mental. That is not... I didn't see that happening. Scamacca wanted by Madrid. Nyonto wanted by Southampton. Napoli want Leon Bailey. City, Newcastle, Tottenham, Milan and Barcelona want Yuri Tielemans. Ah. Um, this fella um, here, Tim Ibrogunam. Um, he was on loan in the first season, came back. Nobody actually offered on him on loan, so I just kept him around the club. And Unai Emery seems to like him. He's, he's played 15 games in the Conference League, played 31 in the uh, Premier League, 23 of them being starts. Looks all right. He's 21. He's got good potential. All right, maybe we'll keep him around, whoever the hell he is. Um, then, what else? Uh, assists, um, 13 for... Oh, Jacob Ramsey played a lot more this season. That is good to see. Because um, I think he does have a really good potential. I really like Jacob Ramsey. Um, so it was, I was annoyed to see that he didn't get much of a go uh, this season. Um, the, the first season, rather. Um, and getting one goal, getting nine or ten appearances all up. This season, we've done much better as a team. He's got nine goals, 12 assists. Appearances, if you look down the bottom here, he's played 61 matches, which is a ridiculous amount of football. Um, who who performed well? Musa Diaby, Wilfred Singo, our signing from the first season, nine assists for him, looking very nice uh, at 24 years old now. Leon Bailey played well, Bibka Kamara played well. Um, anyone underperform? Not good to see that Amaro has underperformed, um, definitely. He's played a lot of football. It's his first season at, abroad, really. Um, his first season in the Premier League, all that sort of stuff. Um, he has played 53 games, so it's a lot of football. Um, average rating isn't great. It's 6.71 all up, but that's probably fine for a 22-year-old. And we've done very well to finish fifth. We've runner-up in the Conference League, semi-final of the FA Cup. You know, we're clearly on the right path. Um, Diego Carlos now 32, 31-year-old Moreno, John McGinn, his contract runs out this season, so I might not re-sign it, because we've got that, what was his name? Tim, uh, uh, Tibre Gargan? Tibre Gargan's a, um, a mountain near me, I think, um, that you can walk up near Brisbane. Am I thinking the right one? I think so, anyway. Um, that's why I said that. Because um, his name, Tim Ibrugabagam, reminds me of Tim Bergagan. Um, uh, then we've got Finn Azaz, who I don't really care. He can bugger off. I don't care who you are. Who are you? Rubbish. You've got a terrible haircut. You look rubbish. Um, no one else of note, really, I guess. Um, maybe you would have wanted better performances out of Nyonto, but then he has scored 17 goals and he's 21, so maybe his average rating doesn't goddamn matter. Anyway, um, so potential for some movement this offseason, I guess, um, looking at the ages especially. I mean, Martinez is probably fine to keep around. Jed Sear, I'm fine with keeping around as a backup, but, you know, if he's unhappy and wants to leave, we'll see. Um, Diego Carlos has one year left on his deal. We'll see if he moves. I'm pretty content with keeping him. Like, he still has decent physicals. He's a good defender, and he's, you know, clearly doing a decent job. He's played almost 50 games this season. So, um, other than him, Moreno and Dina... Both being 31 isn't great. Maybe one of them could move on. We'll see. John McGinn probably leaving. As much as he's a scorer of great goals, great technical ability. We'll get rid of him probably. Um, Buendia, uh, the rest of them are probably fine. I don't really... The rest of them are fine, really. Um, apart from... What was that fellow's name? Finazaz. Finazaz. He can probably go. All right. Let's move on now to uh, the transfer that we make ahead of season number three. All right, so after a very successful season and after a brief intermission, um, I now have the dog on my lap. It is our main man, Zindane, um, absolute mascot of this channel. Um, hopefully, you've come here just to see Zindane and you're now getting your wish because um, he is very awkward on camera, as you might be able to tell. Anyway, we've done some great business. Um, uh, Zindane will hopefully not um, be trying to lick me this entire time. Um, only, you know, maybe for a little bit of it, um, maybe right at the end of the video, if you stick around for it. Um, 
that was weird. Um, so we've done done some business. Um, not necessarily business that was planned. Um, of course, like there have there has been. Um, John McGinn has left. Um, so we obviously just having Tim Regargan um come in for him. Um, and then uh, look, other than that, there's some outgoings that weren't necessarily anticipated, but they were, you know, fine. I guess stop. Sorry. Um, so first one being, uh, Luka Dean has left and he's gone to West Ham. We're just having an absolute love affair with West Ham and selling players to them. Um, and, uh, this time it was for 16.25 million. He's 32. It's fine. Like, I don't really care. He's, he's gone. We can replace him. It's fine. Cameron Archer has gone as well. He's gone back to Middlesbrough. So the team that, uh, of course he did have that loan spell with in the game, he didn't do too well. As you see on the right hand side, oh, depending on which side I'm on, I guess. I guess now that I've said right hand side, I'll be on the left. But um, so he's gone to Middlesbrough um, now permanently after not really playing for us. We've got 17 million for him. You can see he's now worth a lot more than that. Um, so maybe we sh should have asked more. But you know he wasn't playing, so we got rid of him. The next one's a bigger one. Yeah, sorry, he's enough. Sorry, mate. We've got rid of Emmy Buendia. Um, it now says he's worth 76 million to 91 million. We've sold him for 46, I think. 40, yeah, 46 million. Maybe we should have done better. John Heitinger is the manager of the Athletic Madrid. Do not, do not. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the dog, I think. So not a player we would have necessarily wanted to be selling, but when the money was, you know, good for what, where we're at, um, and, you know, the player wants to move, all that sort of stuff. He's 28 years old, blah, 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 like a, We've moved on from him. Um, we have done business. We've replaced him. I think with someone who could, you know, go beyond uh, in potential, go beyond um, Wendy's ability, um, and he's probably not too far off it as we as things stand. So all in all, we've needed to get um, like we've got rid of Cameron Archer. So this sort of is another spot opening up in uh, sort of attacking positions. We've gotten rid of Wendy, uh, um, and we've gotten rid of uh, Luka Dean. So there's. Really, there are three spots we need to fill. Um, so a left back, a forward, and maybe another forward. Um, wherever they fit in. Um, let's see what business we've done. Starting off with the left back business, we've brought in Luganets. Um, I look, football manager heritage, very much, uh, you know, a player for a few years that just had a lot of potential at left back. Um, he was still at uh, Munchen Gladbach having made 100 league appearances. We've paid £43 million for him. Um, of course, being his... Uh, release clause so um he spent a lot of money on him uh, but he is quite good really so i mean uh we're happy to pay that for again i mean it's a, only another three seasons that we're we only two yeah two, another three seasons that we're gonna be here at aston villa so pretty happy with that business i think that's pretty good um for attacking midfield this is a big one this is the one that i think is going to potentially exceed the potential of emu Buendia. we've brought in fabio vieira from arsenal he is very good, isn't he? He's 25 years old, not worth... I mean, he's worth 34 to 37, and we've paid 37 for... That's pretty shocking, isn't it? Um, he just wasn't really, you know, um, excelling at Arsenal. Um, so we thought, um, you know, why not? He's very good, and, you know, he's approaching closer to his prime in 25 years old, I guess, um, rather than paying, you know, buying another 22, 21, 22 year old you know, um, we've got, you know, Guy in his prime, ready to go, um, attacking midfield option, a very good player basically. Um, hasn't yet played for Portugal, but I, I think probably will in the near future anyway. Um, and then we have made another, another Arsenal signing actually, and another forward signing. This one, he was transfer listed, and I, th I think this is quite good business from us. We've brought in Emil Smith Rowe. He's 25 years old as well, um, worth 27 to 29. We've only paid 12 million for him, I think. 12.75 million for him. Um, so, I mean, I think that's quite good business. He was out on loan last season in Eredivisie. He just really hasn't quite cut it at Arsenal. Um, of course, this was like this is not his statistics in real life for last year. Anyway, um, yeah, it just hasn't. He's had three. Yeah, he's had some bad seasons really uh, that haven't really. He just hasn't quite made it. So we've we've brought him in. So we've brought him in, um, and I think it's a good bit of business. Again, giving us that good bit of depth on uh, sort of attacking midfield, left side of attacking midfield, leaving the squad looking like this for season number three. I said it looking like this, so I thought I'd present it to you. Um, I can just see glare on my screen. It's really annoying me, but I think it's not in the recording. It's... Anyway, 
Um, so you will notice that we've got a third striker. His name is John Duran. Um, he's been on loan the last couple of seasons um, in Mexico, um, scoring six goals, scoring eleven goals. Um, he's twenty-one now, so he's he's he looks brilliant, really. I don't I don't really know a whole lot about him to be honest with you, but um, he looks brilliant to me, and, and nobody's come in with a good offer. I don't want to loan him out. I'll sell him if someone comes in with an offer above the 20 million mark, um, like 24, 25. Um, but really, he looks great. Like, what? Who is this guy? Anyway, this is what the squad's looking like for the next season. Um, I've got Bayona and Smithrow on the left-hand side, Ramsey and Vieira through the middle, Musa Diaby and uh, Liam Bailey on the left, on the right, rather. Um, midfield, as uh, we've gone through, uh, Douglas Louise and uh, Tim Bregargan. Uh, Tillemans, Kamara, you know, we're looking very, very good, aren't we? Um, looking at some Moreno still there. Um, what was his name? Jed Steer is gone. Um, and now Philip Marshall, uh, Aston Villa youth kid. He's trained by the club, so it's, it's pretty no-brainer, I guess, just bring him in. Um, still got Esri Consa and Diego Carlos there, probably coming to the end of their time here. Maybe this is their last season. Same maybe with Alex Moreno. We'll see, I guess. Um... Don't know how we really better last season. We finished fifth. We qualified for the Champions League, so hopefully we do, you know, give a, a good account of ourselves, make round of 16 quarterfinals of the Champions League, hopefully finish about fourth, fifth again. Um, I mean, we just want to see that we're improving, I guess. Um, let's see how we get on. End of season three. End of season number three. Our first go in the Champions League, hoping again to, I don't know, be competitive and, you know, just be better in the league, I guess. Um, cop conditions is what it is, I don't know. Um, Look, it, you went alright. I don't know why this, these are not showing, I guess, because the season's finished, I guess. But um, we did finish fifth by some distance. We're 10 points clear of Newcastle. Um, only four points behind Manchester United in third. Um, if you look at past positions for us, we started out great. Then went on a bit of a... What did we do? We lost 3-0 to West Ham. That'll do it. We drew with Chelsea, then we won. Lost to Newcastle. Win, draw. Huge drop here because of a 4-1 defeat to Leicester. Goodness me. Won all with Middlesbrough. Lost to Manchester City, which is always going to happen. Um, and then we've stayed, what, fourth for a while. Dropped. And then we've just finished. It's disappointing, isn't it? It's kind of disappointing. After a like, good start to the season, I guess, with a couple of shocking results in there, but... Look, it's fifth. At the end of the day, it's fifth. Um, in terms of um, in terms of point sales, um, sorry, I had there's a probably a awkward cut there somewhere. Um, because some dogs are going mental. Not mine for once. Um, so we got 70 points this season. Last season we got 66. It was I think um, 66. So it improving. So 70, uh, 64, 66, 70 uh, points in the league. We finished fifth by some. I mean, clear by some distance. Qualifying for the Champions League again. In terms of the Champions League this season, we go to a schedule rather than the competitions. I'm knocked out in the round of 16 by by PSG, which I guess is fine. Um, Fede Valverde to Raimi scoring the goals in the uh, first leg, and then in the second one, do we get red cards in both? We got red cards in both legs. That's good, and both of them were just two yellow cards. Yeah, nice. <sighs> All right. Um, Chelsea, we, I mean, fifth, fourth round of the FA Cup against Chelsea, getting to a replay is probably okay, I guess. Um, where's the League Cup? Third round again. We're not doing well in the League Cup, are we? Miggy Almiron is at Wolves there for some reason. I didn't, you know, it went okay, um, I guess. Um, 30 goals for Skabaka is brilliant. The help for him has dropped, it seems like. Assists. Fabio Vieira has had a very good first season, I guess. Um, eight goals, 15 assists. Um, in terms of average rating, pretty good from uh, Skamaka, uh, Diaby, Tielemans, Nets in his first season at the club. Very good. Konza in limited appearances played quite well. Uh, is now, I mean, wanted. He's got a contract till 2029, another three seasons. Goodness me. Probably trying to get rid of him, really. Uh, anyone expiring this season? Yes. Diego Carlos and Philip Marshall, our uh, backup keeper, are both uh, expiring contracts, so we might have to think about those, um, because, like, Diego Carlos, he started to go down physically, but he's still quite good for 33, I'm pretty, pretty okay with that, really, I know I've been recording for a long, long time, but, 
Um, or Douglas Louis is probably leaving. He's played 14 times, 13 coming off the bench, so he'll probably leave this season. Konsa probably leave because he's only played eight times. Baena's only played oh, 19 times and they're all off the bench. Oh, he's probably le he's got to leave then, doesn't he? He's probably absolutely missed. John Duran has only played six times. Moreno. Okay, this seems like we're going to have a lot of change this season. If you look at the people who are going to be unhappy with their playtime, that's a lot of change, isn't it? Like Baena, Philip Marshall, who, you know, he's a backup keeper, so it's probably fine. Bayona, Conza, Louise, Duran, Moreno, probably all likely to leave, <laughs> which isn't great. Um, and then the rest of them, I know, it'll depend on if people come in from. Anyway, let's do some business. Let's hope to improve the squad and, uh, you know, push for trophies next season. Um, I mean, Premier League is a bit of a stretch because, like, it is hard catching Liverpool and Manchester City, and especially in Football Manager. Um, but we'll see, I guess. Um, let's do some business. So a lot of business has been done, ins, outs, all of the above. I like to think that we're improving the squad. We'll see. The first bit of business, of course, is Douglas Louise going out. He's worth now an absolute ton. We did not sell him for anything near that much. We sent him, sold him for 28.5 million pounds to Sevilla. He's now worth a ton and probably going to be great for him. And, and we've made a great mistake. It's not good. Who's next? It is John Duran. Um, look, I was kind of just happy to cash in. I guess we've got that strikers sorted with um, Skimaka and Nyonto. As good as this guy does look, and he's only 22, we only got 22 million for him. Maybe I could have tried to, you know, get a bit more, but man, he does look quite, I'm very sure, I don't know who you are, but you look great. Uh, as for the next bit of business, look, it's another outgoing and an anticipated one, I guess. It is Alex Moreno. He's gone to Villarreal. He's, What's happening? Because he's now worth up to 36 million at 33 years old. We, how did we only get 16 million? I'm going to lose my mind. All right. Um, it says only as a last resort, but he's worth 36 million pounds. Who are you? What? Anyway, we got rid of him because we, you know, he's 33. So we wanted to replace him, I guess. Also leaving the club is Ezri Konza, um, uh, as we sort of, I guess, predicted, I guess. Um, he was on the way out, um, didn't play great. I only went for 18 million. He's now worth 30 to 35. This is ridiculous. That's can't, can't be. It's got to be just because he's only just signed a contract. He's worth lots of money, right? And, and that's why Moreno was worth lots too. I don't know. Anyway, he's gone um, to Nice. Didn't need him. I've got a nice fee for him. Um, and we replaced him. Let's look at the ins. Replacing the centre back option of Ezra Concert. We have got Ilya Zabiani. Zab Zabani. Zab the guy from Bournemouth, um, we've paid £44 million pounds for him because he is a uh, sensational and an absolute wonder kid. I think really, like we, I know this is the fourth season and we'll only do five, so hopefully do quite well one of these two seasons. Um, I feel like we're setting up for beyond that as well, like with Nyonto, with um, this guy, with who else was young and good? Um, one of the other people we signed, I don't know, Singo, Luganets, you know. All the above. Like, I think we're doing quite well to set them up for a few seasons, really. But he looks very good. I'm, I'm happy with that business. I think he is going to turn out to be worth the £44 million pounds because, um, you know, we'll get a good seven years out of him, you know. Um, even then, he's only 30, so maybe even beyond that. Also coming in, this time to replace Douglas Louise, the, the gap in holding midfield. We have got an absolute start in shake to Kure. Um, we've paid 36 million pounds for him. He's worth 61 to 67 now. Um, I think that's great business. A player that, you know, in real life after one season at Crystal Palace is probably looking likely to move on even further to, you know, the, the teams that are looking for players like this, like a Liverpool, um, even, I don't know, like a, who might need him? Real Madrid, I don't know. Um, I, Real Madrid don't need him. Um, I think he looks sensational. For 26 years old, he's a solid, solid player that is absolutely ready to compete at the level we are wanting to compete at. So I think that's a great bit of business. Then coming in to replace the outgoing Alex Moreno, we have brought in Ryan Nuri. Um, again, a sort of similarly to uh, Sheikh Takure, a player that is ready to just slot straight in and uh, compete at the level we're ready to complete, compete at. He's injured at the moment, but ignore that. That's fine. Um, I think that's, again, a good bit of business. Um, it is expensive. We did pay £30 million pounds for him, um, but worth it at the end of the day for a you know proven Premier League player, a player that is ready to compete where we are um, and just slot straight into the, the role that we need him in, basically. Um, we have also changed our backup goalkeeper, but I didn't think that was as exciting, so we probably won't go through that, but we will look at how the squad is shaping up. 
and it looks a little something like this. So it's still the 4 2 3 one. Um, It's still the same uh, generic uh, sort of tactics and all of the above. Uno Emery, of course, in charge of the game days, so he can do whatever the hell he wants. Um, this is just how I've been building the squad based off, like, I looked, basically I looked at transfer market and looked at the formations of the latest games that he had played and he had played this sort of formation, so I went with it. Obviously, it's going to be different. It's football manager, blah, blah, blah. This is what it, we're looking like. Um, it doesn't really look that different, does it? It doesn't look like we've done that much. I mean, we've... What did we bring in? We brought in Sheikh Takure. We brought in Sabani. We brought in Jamie Cumming as our backup goalkeeper. He was a free transfer, so I thought, why not? So we got rid of Philip Marshall, brought in this fella. Why not? Um, and then eight Nuri there. Really, I think, like, left wing is probably still a bit of a gap um, that we could improve on. Bayena, now a couple of seasons in. He's wanted by Leipzig, so, I mean, he's clearly doing something all right, but hasn't really, you know... Set the ground alight. Set the, what's the same? Set the world alight? I don't know. Anyway, he hasn't done fantastically. Um, neither's really Emil Smith Rowe. Like, how was his season last season? He, he played a lot of football, but only, you know, in 43 games, got four goals, five assists. So, so eh, it's fine, I guess. Um, still more than happy with Skamaka. Sensational player. Wanted by Milan and Juventus, of course. Um, he scored 42 goals for us already. That is stunning. 42 goals. I mustn't have done these transfer. Confused. Um, anything else? Nah, that's it. Let's go to the end of Season 4. Hopefully, still competing. Champions League, whatever. Let's improve. So, really, we've had a pretty good season, I think. Um, I, look, it doesn't necessarily look like it. As we look at the competitions for now, um, <laughs> we've we finished 6th. Where last season, we finished 5th. But we've actually got 3 more points this season. It does mean that we've only competed qualified for the conference league so we've gone down from the champions league to the conference league despite improving to 73 points just because the league is getting more even like arsenal have won the league only by three points over united and tottenham on 82 then 79 gets fourth place where like last season 79 gets you second by five points you know and we've got 73 points tying with Liverpool, only behind, I mean, by 10 on goal difference. One point ahead of Newcastle. It's just so competitive at the top. This top eight, even, is very competitive. It's sort of, it's, very, it's pretty frustrating. Um, we made a quarterfinal of the Champions League, which is pretty good. Getting knocked out by Manchester United, not great. 5-2 uh, on aggregate, so not great. Uh, FA Cup quarterfinal by Man City, who went on to lose the final to Brighton. Um, which is why they've got Europa League, that makes sense. Then, quarter fun. We've got knocked out by big teams again. Like, we've got knocked out by first, second, and fourth. So, it's like, what can you do, I guess? Um, in terms of how the squad has performed this season, Skamak has had a big drop. What's happened here? Um, he has played much less games. He's been injured this season. Uh, what year are we in? We are in 2027. Damaged his spine in January and he was out for three months. That's had a big impact quite clearly because he's dropped down by 15 goals. And if we have 15 more goals, we're looking a lot better, aren't we? Um, Bailey has done very, very well. I'm surprised to see Leon Bailey being, being as quality as he has. I mean, you know, I mean, 14 goals this season, but 19 in all competitions, 10 in all competitions, 16, 21 in all competitions. We weren't there this season, so don't pay attention to it. Um, other than him, uh, Skwaki gets 15, 13 for Diaby, 12 goals, 13 assists for Fabio Vieira. He's been very good. He's getting worse, apparently, but now wanted by Milan. Assists, it's probably... Oh, it's Ryan 8 Nuri up top. Wow. Wanted by Real Madrid now. Oh, my God. Um, in performances, uh, 8 Nuri, Singo, Bailey, Nets. It's very good, people. Um... Any contracts expiring this season? No, no contracts expiring this season. So we did uh, extend Diego Carlos. He's got a contract to the end of next season. So hey, we do just keep him around and he can just be here to the end of it. He hasn't played much this season. So coming, not playing, don't mm, don't care. Oh, we've got... Nyonto's out too. And he's damaged his crucial ligament. So we've been without two strikers. Wow. He's been out since the 8th of January. Skamaka. Okay, that was on the 5th of, 15th of May, but he was out in January from that back injury. 
So through January, have we struggled through January in... No. No, no, it's this period. It's March. What happened here? I don't know what happened. We got beaten by Manchester City and got upset. I don't know. I suppose a lot of like the same players would have been playing, I guess. Um, anyway, um, I was looking at people who are not playing. I guess Diego Carlos, maybe he goes now. Nyonto, that's probably because of his injury. I don't even know. Like, what more do we do? I guess, like, ages, maybe Martinez and Carlos do go. I don't know. All right, we've got to do something, though, because this is the last season now. We want to do something. We're, we've only qualified for the Conference League, so I'd love to win it if we can, but um, let's do some transfers and let's let's see how we get on. So not a whole lot of business uh, done. I think there was three ins, three outs, something like that anyway. Yeah, three ins, three outs, that's it. Um, I've seen them. You haven't, obviously. Anyway, um, the outs, um, it is... Diego Carlos, he's gone to um, Galatasaray, £6 million, um, which is pretty good business, I guess, for a 34-year-old. We'll take it. He probably... I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we get on, I guess. We've then sold Alex Boehner back to Villarreal. Um, so we <laughs> um, bought him for... What was the bloody... What have we done? Uh, so we've bought him for 34. He's played three seasons with us and sold him for 28. I guess it's fine whatever then lastly it's Emmy Martinez he's 34 he's still very good and that's I guess why he's gone to Atletico Madrid um to play with uh M Emmy Buendia I think it was um so yeah well, uh, whatever he's gone it is what it is um eh, would have liked to just keep him around but he started complaining all of that jazz um didn't want to be here anymore and so we cashed in him got 20 8 million pounds for him, so I'm pretty happy with that for a 34 year old goalkeeper. It's bother me, really. So that has meant we've needed to bring in a winger, a centre back, a striker, and the winger we've got, I think, is very, very exciting. 22 year old Alejandro Garnacho. Um, so he is now worth 92 to 114 million. We've only spent 60, I think, on him. 54 million um, going up to 60, I think. Um, so he is sensational. He's very good. I think that is some very, very good business. He's 22 years old. He's very, very good, and we need him. All this final season to, you know, be better than Bayerno, I guess. Our centre back option is Devin Rent from uh, Ajax, of course. Um, we've brought him in for thirty million pounds. Surprised that he was still there, to be honest. Um, obviously, be being, you know, now four seasons in the future, it's twenty twenty seven. He's twenty four years old, starting to really shape up as a footballer. Versatile defensive option. Obviously, I'll probably, I personally would use him more at centre back, but it's Unai Emery's decision. So I've given him the tools. He's got to go. Do the business. It's still in Emery's team because he's done quite well, really. Haven't sacked him or anything. Um, the next thing is goalkeeper. And we've signed Nicholas Heddle. I've never really heard of the fella. Um, he was at Monaco after... So he's from Rapid Vienna. Um, he's then gone to Al Jarafa. Gar I don't know how to say that. Um, in Qatar. Um, then Monaco have bought him. We've then bought him. He's on a lot of money, isn't he? Um, which probably starts with him going to Al Jarafa. Um, he's very good. Though. He's very, very good. I've ne I don't know who he is. I've never heard of him. Never, no idea about him. How good he's meant to always be in football manager. But it's weird that he's, if you see his stats down here, he's played 44 games for both teams. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's our goalkeeper now. Um, I think he's quite good. Um, and he's 26, so he would be again. You know, an option for the next few years, similar to Nets, to um, Devin Wrench, to Nyonto, all of the above. Players that will be here for a number of years. Probably see a good um, core, you know, for those few years if we were to simulate into the future. We're only going to do one year, though. This is how the squad's shaping up, though. This is what the squad looks like. So, good players all across the pitch. Uh, you know, certainly some players that maybe shouldn't have stayed along for the whole ride, I guess, like uh, Matty Cash maybe should have gone. Maybe a bit Liam Bailey, I don't know. Because he, you know, has sort of plateau. No, he's been very good, hasn't he? Ignore that. Um, but, you know, as a whole, great squad. Ready to go. Um, let's see how we go with Season 5. Conference League football. Hopefully, you know, hopefully we get back to the Champions League, I think. Um, and, you know, maybe compete for a cup. I'd love to win something because otherwise that's two five-year rebuilds where we haven't won anything with West Ham or Aston Villa. So, let's see. Hopefully win something.
end of season number five. This is it. This is the end of it. All, all our whole time at Aston Villa. It's been building up to this, and we've done it. We've won something. We've won the Europa League. I thought we only qualified for the Conference League, but we've won the Europa League. Um, winning the final 1-0 over um, Club Bruges, um, beating out Bordeaux in the semis. Uh, quarterfinals, we beat out Brighton. Um, we, we won the Europa League, so that is, that's very good. We finished fourth on 80 points, so we are every year getting better and better and better. So, uh, if we go back uh, to our, not our first season, this is the season before us. We did not do this. This is not, I would not have been a part of that. Um, we finished 8th on 64, 66, 70 points, 73 points last season, and then this season, 80 points. 80 points is very, very good. Two teams have run 80 points, 85 for Liverpool, 90 for Manchester United. Um, so we're 9 points clear of 5th place to Chelsea. Um, again, you know, a very good sort of competitive top half of the table. Good to see Swansea were in the league. Um, uh, I don't know how long they have been, but um, uh, going back to the competitions, um, yeah, we've won a Europa League. Third round of the FA Cup, we got drawn against Liverpool, that sucks. Carabao Cup, quarterfinal, Tottenham is fine, I guess they're apparently pretty good being coached by Nico Kovac. Anybody else weird? Ten Hag still at there, Pioli at Liverpool, Ancelotti at Arsenal, Brian Barry Murphy at Manchester City. That's got to be an interim, surely. That's got to be interim. Because they've gone from Guardiola to Spalletti to Sari for one season. And then Brian Barry Murphy. That's got to be... That's... It's got to be it. What? That can't be real. That can't be not... An interim... I don't know. Anyway, we won Europa League. I don't care. Um, we've done sensation. I think we've done really well. Looking at the... Lastly, the, the performances for this last season, 38 goals, 38 goals for Skamaka, um, 14 goals, 13 assists for Vieira, 12 goals, 13 assists for uh, Garnacho, 11 goals, 14 assists for Leon Bailey, um, Singo's done well, Devin Wrench has done well, playing clearly a lot of right back or something. He's got nine assists, surely not from centre back. Um, someone must be upset because there's a lot of people... Oh no, someone's supporting teammate. Luca Nets is pissed. Where's Luca Nets? What's Luca Nets unhappy about? Oh, wants a new deal because he's only on 83 million. I mean, 83,000 a week. Um, oh well, not my problem because I'm buggering off. Um, new goalkeeper performed quite well. Average rating is 7, which is pretty good. Um, he's played every game of the season. Yeah, look, Tim Gargan's still here. He's unhappy and wants a new deal, which is probably fair because he's fine. I guess if you look at the other money that other people are getting, especially like Singo and Yota, I do not remember doing that. That is rubbish. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. We've won something. We've won a Europa League here at Aston Villa. That is sensational stuff. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, let me know what you would have done differently, what you think of the deals, the transfers, the tactics the if i should have got rid of unai emery all of the above let me know what you reckon and uh, that'll do us let me know if you think there's anyone else I, you think i should do next leave a like comment subscribe all the things um that'll do us peace